Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things. And today we're talking about whether you can source on Facebook. Um, I have recently, I mean, we're kind of entering quarantine again. I've been recently looking for ways to source online or at a distance. Happy Thanksgiving mm. and like and subscribe. <laughs> Happy almost Thanksgiving, yay. But I um, joined a couple Facebook groups that are like quarantine, thrift and sell groups. I think there's a lot of resellers in there, but they're like selling off inventory. It's mostly clothes. Um, but I placed some orders and some stuff came in. So we're going to check it out and see, like, do we think this stuff will sell on eBay um, or did I make a huge mistake? We'll see. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm back with my packages that came in. Now, I have to be um, totally transparent. There is a possibility that I was scrolling these Facebook quarantine thrift and sell groups while drinking wine in the evening. So I'm not sure that any of these are gonna be like the, the best. These could be complete disasters. Um, but maybe they're gonna be good, I don't know. I tried to get a lot of new with tag stuff, although I think I did get some that wasn't new with tags. Um, I ordered from three different sellers. Everything came in rather quickly. It was funny, one of the sellers, actually she asked me like to reach out for my zip code and I sent her my zip code and she lived in the same county as me. She's like, oh, I'm in Erie County too. So <laughs> um, her stuff was here like super fast. I should have probably just gone and picked it up, but I'm trying not to go out right now, I'm trying. So let's get into it. We've got three bags of stuff. Uh, whoa, this one's pretty big. And this, there's one that's already opened and I'll tell you why. It was Crocs. I actually was hoping they would fit my son for next summer, but they will not. So I'll show you those in a sec. So we'll start with the, like the smaller box. Is this one from, okay, this came from Arizona. It was here really quick. I think she sent it priority mail. She did. So it was here in like three days, very quick. It was like ordering off of eBay. Um, basically what they do is they start these live thrifts within this Facebook group and they post pictures and the prices. Nothing can be priced over, um, $15. Like that's part of the rules of the group and you can claim it and then you can like claim second and someone can pass, but you claim the item. And then once they're done listing their stuff, which sometimes can take hours, you go through and reach out to them, give them your like shipping information. Um, I sent everything via PayPal and this stuff was here really quickly. There's pre some pretty strict rules in the group. So I'm not too worried about getting like ripped off um, because I think if that happened, they would be kicked out of the group immediately. But we'll see. This is my first time trying this. And as you guys know, I'm not great selling clothing. Um, but... There was wine. There was wine. So let's see what I got. <laughs> I brought scissors, but you know, I never actually bring scissors when I'm um, doing this. Oh, I remember this. I think I told you guys about this in another video. So cute. All right. First is the cupcake costume. Um, oh my God. Is this the cutest little thing you ever saw? Okay. I have boys. Ah, it is so cute. Um, okay, so this actually still has the tags. Um, ironically, the tags are, are us. Is that Toys R Us? Because we don't have Toys R Us in the US anymore. Although I just learned recently that they still have Toys R Us in Canada. And I was like, what? What? Why? We're being robbed over here. Hmm. Anyways, so this is a size three to six months, tiny, tiny. Um, and it is originally priced on the tags at $32.99. I got this for $3. It was two or $3. I claimed this as soon as I saw it. I had to have it because I don't get to dress my boys up. And so I'm always thrilled to buy anything cute that someone else can dress their kids up. Okay, so this is cute. Oh, okay, I know what this is. All right, so then I ordered a bunch of bras. Gentlemen, divert your eyes. 
if you're here, divert your eyes. Um, all right, so these are new with tags. Um, just white. Looks like it's in good condition. This one actually has a little stain. She did not mention that in the listing. Um, but they are new with tags. You can see here, $14.99. This is a 32D. This is this has no padding. Um, it's cute though. Same brand. Um, again, with the tags, $14.99. I guess that padding must be worth a lot of money. Um, I'm just piling bras up in the back of my YouTube video. This is not what the pros do. They don't do this. Um, and so there's one, two, this one's very bit large. Okay, this we're, now we're talking. Um, three, this one is um, also, and four, another um, padded one. So I got one, two, three, four, five bras. I think those will do well. I'm not sure, okay. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Regina Michelle. I highly recommend her channel. She is so like motivating and oh, I love her. Anyway, she was talking about scarves and now her scarves are a little bit different, but I'm in a cold climate um, and this scarf was a dollar. Oh, I forgot to tell you, those bras were um, $2 each. So I spent 10 on five bras. I'm sure I can make my money back on just one. Um, all right, so this is a beautiful knitted, very soft sweater. And let's see, it does still have the tag. It's from Maurice's. The price is ripped off. It's acrylic. But I mean, Regina mentioned the scarves, and I was like, well, there's a scarf. I mean, it is pretty, right? Like, I feel like... I'm not going to keep it, you guys. I swear. I'm not. Okay? I mean, yes, I'm in Buffalo. And yes, it's cold. But I'm not going to keep it. I am going to sell it. Um, and then this was, she said new. It's not new. It's, yes, it's in the original packaging. But you can tell it's been, I think, tried on. But it's a set of Spanx tights, size G. Um... Sorry. It looks like they have been taken out and tried on. But they do have the original packaging, so I'm going to check them out. I know some people do really well with Spanx. Um, and, I mean, it's a good brand. So I figured I would try it out and see how it does on eBay. And these were $1. So how could I say no? Um, next, this is the second seller. And this seller was in New Jersey. Not too far from me. Maybe I don't need to keep this scarf because it won't stay up. <sighs> okay. Um, this seller was in New Jersey and she actually had a lot of stuff, but I like jumped onto that sale late. So it was mostly already claimed, but she had some Crocs and one of my boys is like going from like a size two to a size three. He's, he's growing really fast. So I wasn't sure. These were size two boys or girls Crocs. I wasn't sure if they would fit him. Um, they got here today and they will not. So I'm going to sell them. But these are a pair of Crocs. Um, where's the little? There's the little Crocs tags. Tag is still on. Um, you can see the little Crocs. Um, so these are just little boys like lip on flip-flops. I think Crocs do really well. Don't quote me. I'm not sure. I'm wondering if there's a price on here. There is not, but there is a barcode. So I will scan these. Um, and these were, I got two pairs. Um, it was two pairs for $10. I'm sure, I'm confident I can make my money back on those without too much of a problem. The second pair is still in the bag, but it's ripped. Um, and these are Capri Mule, black, black, relaxed fit. So there are women, women's size four, which is like a boy's size two. Um, but you can see them. They still have the tag. Just very cute. I mean, they're brand new. I feel like you can't go wrong with a pair of Crocs. I myself don't understand the Croc craze. I just 
don't. I don't. Do you guys like the Crocs? Because my son, he thinks they're the greatest thing ever. I don't know if it's just because they're like easy to slip on, but he would wear Crocs all day. Okay, I'm taking my, taking them. I'm taking this off. I do love this though. I feel like the only thing I'm worried about is how I'm gonna like photograph. I don't have a mannequin. Like, how can I properly photograph? Maybe I will cover the bras with the sweater. Is that a little more professional? I don't want to be distracting. Okay, third bag. Let's see what else I got. This is the big one. Um, okay. All right, what did I buy? This one was a late night purchase for sure. All right, first, the clothes are really stuffed in here. Um, I got two of these. They are new with tag. Um, these actually came together. It was these two sweatshirts for $2. So the first one is just neon green. Um, I mean, it's cute. What size is this? XXL. I think I was actually in my mind thinking, well, they don't, I like oversized stuff. And if they, if they don't look like they're going to sell, I might just keep them because look at this tie dye. It's so cute. And they have a little tie at the bottom. They're no special brand. It's like no boundaries. Um, so nothing special, but for two bucks, probably should be on Mercari too, but I haven't tried that yet. Um, okay. What's next? What's this? I don't even remember ordering this. Let's see. Oh, this was a, okay. So she put the stuff together. So this stuff was listed like it would be like three of these $4. Like these three items are $4 total. So this is another three lot. And this is also no boundaries, double XL. Um, and it's just like one of those thermal black. I don't know if you can see it real well, but like a black thermal, very cute. A gray thermal, also very cute with the tags. Um, and this is Athletic Works and also a double XL. And it's just, a, I feel like my light is like, it's this is black, solid black. Um, but just a running track jacket. So I got all three of those for $4. So you're like, what, $1.33 per piece? What did I get here? All right, oh, I forgot I ordered this. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't know if anyone's having ugly sweater parties this year. We usually do, but I don't know if we're having an ugly sweater party this year, but I I ordered this ugly sweater. I think it was three bucks. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think it was $3. It is actually the branded ugly Christmas sweater brand, and it's in a size large. Um, which I think is a men's large, but I do absolutely see these for sale on, I mean, look at his shoes. They've got little pom-poms. I do see these for sale on eBay. So I feel, I think that's why I bought it. I mean, I don't know guys. All right. <laughs> Here's another new with tags. Um, this was definitely plus size and let's see if I can, the brand is Raffaella. Raffaella, and it is a size 22 wide, and it's just a pair of brown pants. Um, my light is really messing with this video. I almost wonder if I should turn it off, but you can see they still have the tags. I have heard that plus sizes do pretty well. I wanted to give, give it a try, so here's my chance um, to see if what everyone says is true. And then going from that straight to these tiny little things that might have fit me when I was eight, but they fit a lot of women. This is a no bow, which I think is no boundaries. Still tags are still on. Um, crop flare midwash high rise jeans in a size three. And they are like, they're pretty cute, right? And I just figured, I like the new with tags. Um, and then this is the last thing I got. What, what did I get here? Oh yeah, I do remember this. Okay. 
So this is a Walmart brand. It still has the tag on it, but I liked that it was branded Disney. It's just a hoodie. You can see the hood there. It's a hoodie with a little like tie-dyed straps and it just says Disney. And um, it's cute. I was thinking it would be a cute little gift. Um, so that's what I got. <laughs> I don't know how great that's going to be. Um, let me total it up and see if I can get a general idea of how much this could um, make me in profit or lose me because don't, don't go thrift shopping when you're drunk. That's the positive thing about having to get in your car and drive to the thrift store. You can't do it drunk, but you can quarantine thrift from your couch with a glass of wine when maybe you aren't making decisions as well as you might be if you had not had wine. Let me total it up. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, I am back. So I did some quick math. Um, and I didn't go into Amazon and like ring up some of the bras and things like that. Um, first, let's just talk about the fact that I didn't realize that Nobo is just Walmart's No Boundaries brand rebranded. So well done by Walmart because I didn't realize. But now I'm annoyed. I'm like, ugh, I bought a bunch of Walmart. I could have just gone to Walmart and bought a bunch of Walmart. But it was super cheap. That being said, we make mistakes. I make lots of them. Um, I typically share my mistakes on my YouTube channel just so that if other people make mistakes, maybe you don't, you don't feel so bad because we all make them. Um, that's part of learning this whole reselling industry. So I spent a total, and this is including shipping, um, which I think in, in all three was priority mail. Um, so including shipping, I spent a total of $80 for all of this stuff. Um, being really like estimating low. Um, it looks like I can make about $174 in revenue off the things that I purchased, um, which is cool. I'm happy. That equals, I think that's about a $94 profit. Um, I can't complain about that, right? That's fine. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take to sell some of this stuff. I think it's going to take longer than I think. Um, a lot of it, I'm going to lot together like the thermals and the sweatshirts, the like the tie dye and the neon. Um, I'm going to actually lot it together similarly, similarly to how she lotted it together. I love this cupcake costume. Oh my goodness. I love it. Um, the Crocs I did well on, I think, I mean, to get two of them for 10, $5 a piece and they're both going for 15 to 20. That's cool. So I didn't do awesome. I do know that there's a lot of people thrifting on those um, groups, which is with really high-end brands. And um, I might try it without wine and see if I can get some of those, like Madewell and, you know, all those good brands that apparently sell really well. I don't know. A lot of times, if you're not, like, on there refreshing, they're getting claimed really fast. So I did all right. It is another way to um, source products. It seems like a lot of resellers um, trying to get rid of inventory that are doing it this way. And you know what? If you're interested in getting rid of inventory, um, like clothing wise, these, I'll put a link to the group in the description. It's like quarantine, thrift and sell. I think you have to join the group. Um, but if you need to get rid of inventory, man, people are doing really, really well. Like they are really selling a lot of inventory out, just posting, um, all on one thread. It's pretty interesting. It's interesting how it's all working. It's interesting how like things start to pivot when we can't, um, do business as usual. So, um, if this was interesting, maybe hit the like button. It was kind of, I mean, let's be honest. It was kind of a dud. It wasn't the, you know, the best I've ever done. Um, but it wasn't the worst. Okay. It wasn't the worst. So, but thank you to everyone that likes and subscribes and comments. It's appreciated. Okay. I got a phone call right in the middle of saying goodbye. So I don't know if I actually said goodbye. So have an awesome day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.